This is a tutorial to make the Jack Skellington bat bow tie. Um, it goes along with a tutorial that I am doing t on how to make a Jack Skellington t-shirt. I have one already made um, face-wise over here, um, but I kind of wanted to go through and do a quick how-to, as you can see my old sketching lines over here, uh, on how to make the bat face. Um, while sketching, you just do lots of short little lines. Lines don't have to be perfect. You're always going to make a couple of them. Um, and that's what I love about sketching because you're going to go through later and pick your favorite ones and darken them in. So just um, when I do it, I make lots of little lines trying to find the shape that I really, really like. Um, so for the face, you make kind of like an upside down candy corn. Um, and for the ears, you come in and do kind of two long, skinny, uh, V-shaped ears. I'm always horrible at doing this side of the ears, so don't judge me. <laughs> All right, there we go. Good enough. Um, like I said, there's going to be lots of lines, and that's okay in sketching. Um, on my t-shirt, when I do it, um, since the t-shirt is black, I go through, um, I use just a basic pencil, went through and kind of did a couple of sketchy lines um, to make sure that my bat head was going to be in the center of my t-shirt. Um, but when I did it, all I did was this little triangle right here. Um, I did everything else in paint. Um, but yeah, the, you can also use um, fabric pencil. They usually have white ones or um, usually some other colors too. Um, some of the types disappear after a couple of hours. The markings do. Other ones um, come off when you wash the shirt the first time. So either way, there are ways to do this where you can see it more visibly than what I did. Uh, mine was just more a mental thing for me so I could see where I was going to have it go. Um, now when doing the shirt, I did it, like I said, with the pencil, I sketched out this. Everything else I did with paint. So when I came in with my paint, I came in and I did my ears first before I did anything else. Um, just because um, the ears kind of anchor this head and where it's going to go. Um, and you also want to make sure these lines right here. Um, now when you're sketching, it doesn't matter. But when you're painting, you don't want those there. Um, which is why you don't ever want to start with the triangle first on the head when you are painting because you can't erase those lines unless you go over it with black paint, but then it never looks the same. Um, so here is the head and for the eyes, it just is like long, two long grains of rice right in the middle of the head, shaped however you'd like. They can be up higher, down lower, doesn't matter. One of the wonderful things about Nightmare Before Christmas is um, their artists were encouraged to use their non-dominant hand when they were drawing. Now I am using my dominant hand um, because I don't ever feel comfortable using my non-dominant hand, but um, that's one of the wonderful things and why I love recreating their items because it never has to be perfect. All right, so now for the bat wings. So once you get the face on there, everything's done, you come in and start right around where the eyes are and you do three flicks of your pencil. You want to kind of go long, a little shorter, and I always do my bottom one just a little bit longer than the rest. And like I said, you come in and do that. Um, while painting the t-shirt, I just came in with a paintbrush and I did very light, kind of almost looked, made it look like a dotted line through all of them until I was sure I had the right line that I wanted. Um, and then once you've got your three flicks, I come in and I kind of do some deep, like sharp or non-sharp V's or sharper looking U's, <laughs> however you want to describe them. Um, and I always make sure this middle line here never fully gets touched by this. That's just a personal preference for me. Uh, doesn't really matter. However you want to do it is great. Um, and so there's the wings there. Now on my shirt that I made, you'll realize that I came through and I had some kind of like accent, you know, paint within these areas just to kind of help define the wings out a little more. Um, you may do it however you like. This is just more of a how-to. And so again, on this side, you would come in around the eye and you do a flick this way, a little bit.
bit shorter flick and then my personal preference is the longer one at the end and I always almost almost always come in and end up extending out my top one just a little more um, and then again with the U or the sharp U or the non sharp V <laughs> however you want to say it um, you just come in and you make your lines and that is how you make the Jack Skellington bat bow tie. You can make the wings, wings as long or as short as you would like. Um, really, the sky's the limit when it comes to Nightmare Before Christmas uh, drawing 